in Mongolian, Alagoy Korkoy, translates as intestine worm, which is a, a monstrous creature said to resemble a length of cow's intestine. It's uh, four or five feet long, as thick as your arm, and blood red in colour, and it's supposed to live in the, the southern Gobi Desert. We want not only to go and study these things, we want to try and catch them and bring them back alive to England. And if it does me in, well, I'll be immortal. Immortal in one way, but in another way dead, because the death worm lives up to its terrifying name. But finding the creature in the vastness of the Gobi Desert was never going to be easy. And from the outset, it was clear the harsh winter conditions would hamper the hunt. Preparation had begun with the distribution of leaflets to locals explaining that a group of British scientists would be in the area looking for the death worm. The next step was to construct a series of traps. We would look at the area, look for tracks and so forth, then we'd set up bucket traps with uh, netting between them, so if anything's crawling along, it bumps into the netting, crawls along the netting, falls into one of the bucket traps. One old man saw it when he was a young boy, and a guy of my own age saw it just six months ago. So we got lots of witnesses spread out right across the Gobi who all described the same animal. What they're seeing is the death worm. It's not an ordinary snake, it's the death worm. Just how reliable are these stories? Maybe in a lot of those instances, people really did see something. On the other hand, we know from our own research that very often when people witness something unusual, one person's account of what they've seen can actually influence the other person's account. And of course, a lot of the belief is based on second-hand accounts, which no doubt have been exaggerated and elaborated along the way. Indeed, what terrifies the local nomads the most are stories of the killer worm's incredible powers. It is said to be able to kill in one of two ways. It can generate great blasts of electricity capable of stunning its victims. Worse still, it generates a lethal, corrosive yellow saliva which it can spit at its prey. Once it has stunned its victim, it can begin the process of digesting its unfortunate dinner, leaving little trace of its lethal visit. Sad to say, Richard's quest to become immortal by being slain by the creature was in vain. We were hoping to catch a specimen if we got really lucky, uh, but we didn't, unfortunately.